Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I did this spider inspired makeup look for Halloween. So I'm going to start off with a bare face and these mini sclera lenses in. I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the Manic Panic Dream Tone foundation. Mix the two together on my hand and then use a Real Technique sponge to apply it to my face. I'm just going to put this all over my face and on my neck to make it look a little bit more normal for as far as this can look normal. And this will just make my face look a little bit lighter than it actually is. And that should look like that. Then I'm taking this Catrice translucent powder, putting it all over my face to set the foundation. I'm going to put it down my neck because I put the foundation there as well. Then I'm going to take these brown eyeshadows and this grey eyeshadow and contour with that. I'm going to make the contour quite heavy to make it look like my skin is sinking in, which will make it look quite creepy. And I'm just going to put the contour everywhere that I would usually contour. So on my cheekbones, on my temples, my forehead, on my jawline. Also going to put it down my neck, contouring my nose. And then I'm also putting it underneath my lip. And that should look like that. Now I'm going to take some brown eyeshadow and just make some little hair strokes next to my eyes and above my eyebrows, incorporating it in my eyebrows to make them look quite bushy because most spiders have hairs on their body so I wanted to recreate that look. So just make little hair strokes. I'm also going to fill in my eyebrows with the same eyeshadow. Just make little lines look like hairs and that should look like that. Then I'm just going to take this white liquid eyeliner by NYX and make some more little hair strokes. Just in between the ones that you just made. And I'm also going to put some stripes underneath my eyebrows. Then I'm going to take this Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in Trooper, which is just a black liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to make some more hair strokes just in between the ones that I just made. So we have three different shades of hair. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. cream eyeliner. This is just a black cream eyeliner. I'm going to make dots next to and below my eyes. In total, I'm making six dots. And this will represent the eyes of spiders. So in total, I'll have eight eyes because obviously I have two eyes of my own. And most spiders actually have eight eyes. Some spiders have less, so you can make less. You don't have to make any at all, but I just wanted to do that. So I'm making them round as round as I can. And then I'm taking that white liquid eyeliner again and just making some dots in the dots that we just made to make it look like the eyes are reflecting light. And then I'm taking some brown eyeshadow and just making some circles around the eyes. So this will look like a shadow. So you really want to make sure that you blend that out really well so that it isn't a harsh line. And so that it will look as realistic as possible. So you really want to blend it into the skin, blend it into a little hair that you made. Really making it look like a shadow. And I'm going to take some more of that cream eyeliner. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid from the outer to the inner corner up to the crease. I'm also going to put that on my lower lash line from the outer to the inner corner, making the eyes look really dark. Then I'm going to smudge that out up into the eyebrow, kind of making it look like hair strokes again. Just smudging it out like that. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just going to make four stripes like so to represent the legs of a spider. Because I'll have four on each eye, so it will represent the eight legs of spiders. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So you want to have a black eye like that and then just smudge it out like so. Then I'm going to take this Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. This is just a black eyeliner and I'm going to put that on my waterline from the outer to the inner corners. And just put that on my upper lash line as well. 
my upper waterline and then i'm just going to do a winged liner on my upper lash line which you can't actually really see so you don't have to do this but i just thought it looked nice even though you can't really see it but yeah i did it anyway <laughs> then i'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara i'm using the Too faced better than sex mascara only going to be doing a little bit because i'm going to apply some false eyelashes later then i'm also going to apply some mascara to the lower lashes then i'm going to take this kat von d liquid lipstick in witches and apply it like i usually would slightly overdraw my top lip just because i like the way that that looks and then i'm going to apply these false eyelashes these are quite dramatic ones so i'm going to put some eyelash glue on them wait for that to become tacky then i'm going to stick them to my eyelids really making sure that they're as close to the lash line as possible I'm going to take some of these little spiders and stick them to my face with eyelash glue. Now the eyelash glue actually make them stick quite well, so you don't need to use spirit gum or anything like that. Eyelash glue will work just fine, in my opinion. So just hold them down, wait for it to dry, and you should be good to go. I'm going to take some of this purple eyeshadow and this grey eyeshadow and make some stripes on the sides of my face where the spiders are. And I'm also going to be making some stripes on my neck. And this is just going to look like little veins. I'm just going to blend these lines out with my fingers to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then I'm going to take my sponge that still has some foundation on it and pat that over it to make it really look like it's coming from underneath my skin instead of it just being random little lines. And then I'm going to take some of this spider web and just add that to little spiders. You don't have to do this, but I just thought it would look cool. So it just kind of sticks to the legs and I'm going to cut off the excess and then that's the makeup done. So now I'm going to accessorize. I'm taking these vampire fangs that I got custom made. They match the color of my teeth exactly and yeah, they're pretty cool. Then I'm going to take some of the spider web, add that to my hair, pull on it to make it look more realistic. And then I'm just going to add some spiders to my hair. I only had three left, so that's why I'm using three, but you can use as many as you want. Then I'm going to put on this little head that has a spider on it with googly eyes, which makes it look a little bit less creepy, but I still liked it anyway. And yeah, that's the makeup done. So I had a lot of fun creating this video. I really hope you guys like it. That was pretty much the video for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you later in my next video. Have a nice day and happy Halloween.